Hello, hello, hello. It's a new dawn for Formula One. We are kicking off the fourth season of MFRL. Today we are in Tier 2. I am Mark D'Agostino, joined here by Runza. Hello, hey. Runza. Okay, fuck. Now, how are you? Call yourself. We are back. Yes, new regulations, uh, new drivers, new cars, theoretically, but not really, because we're still in the game. But and last tracks the season. Yes, uh, a shorter season. Um, hopefully, it should be an exciting one. Uh, as we can probably tell from last season, there's um, a few new drivers in Tier 2. One of them being uh, Liam, also known as Illuminati Cat, or in my screen, uh, Raniel Decardo. Um, Jean Marley as well joins us in the Ferrari. Uh, Smokey as well, um, his teammate. Um, unfortunately, as well, Oliver, also known as Balquaza, um, is in Tier 2 last season. He was in Tier 1. Um, there's also a few other drivers which today. Um, aren't here, but um, hopefully by next uh, next race uh, they will be. Some of them being uh, David, Malia as well, Demek. Um, uh, those two being tier one drivers. However, they had to drop to tier two for other Very reasons. Um, so yeah, uh, for C, can you tell me a bit more about this track, Bahrain, Runza? What do you think? Tire killer, room, tire killer. When I stand I do shining time in it. If you need the other attendant is sorry. Min haya men di kill lap al qualifying. Yara li kemi stay kun yib zat tire. Specialmente la ut lap ali. Kun yib stay ash kif ta bate ti sek. The track the thought that min tishat ada min tishat ibda be soft psychologic te pite dar pite. So is ek thought that min kif hat ibda fe hat ibda. Tires hat uza qualifying. Allora, I had to like that soft, it's not a person I like that lure of qualifying, which they're facet. Yeah, for a tricky for a rear, especially if like for a mid race. And they call like now I've drive a situation for a difficult time, but now we're. Yeah, track challenging, Sabiha. Oh, you need to drop me half nash, and they have no racing possibilities, overtaking possibilities, really. On the first place, which I'm in fall opener. Yes, uh, in fact, uh, we decided to keep Bahrain and Abu Dhabi as the opener and the uh, season closer track, just because of how unique and I guess how, how used to those two tracks we are, so for, for the opening and closure of, of certain seasons. So, yeah, 100%. Um, all valid points. So, on to the track and onto the drivers a lot of uh, drivers looking to set times uh, JJ already on his hot lap uh, Liam as well there's a McLaren off I think that's JJ uh, you don't always like to see it but we start off with our first time and that's Nathan with a 129.4 I think that's a relatively decent time Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. very good time. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a high challenge at 28, so... Uh, at a low 29, it's quite a good time, so... Giuseppe, Giuseppe. Oh, extend bagging, send bagging, send bagging, Giuseppe. Mediums, mediums, 130.3, about a second off, uh, which we're sure here he can gain them um, onto, uh, onto his next hot lap, probably. Uh, Malquaza now on a hot lap, about 50% ERS used up, going on to the famous hill of Bahrain. Uh, you need to be very ballsy here, always flat out if you lift off. Um, there's a very good chance your car will bottom out, even if you hit the curb. Onto the penultimate corner of the Bahrain qualifying. Let's see what time Oliver can do. Austin Martin this season is looking to be the favorites at least for the constructors we'll see if the rest of the drivers can challenge and oliver puts in a 129.8 four tenths of uh nathan which is not mm -hmm. bad as a starting line liam is up next he's gonna put in a fifth time 130.3 not the best from him warming up warming up for sure 
Oh, it's my name, Stevich, call it Liam, you don't know, Zyra, it's out of the game, call it, it's still getting a bit used to back that Keith on track, or you can uh, qualifying feeling. Meanwhile, as well, there's a Ferrari off, that's Marley. Meanwhile, as well, Nathan is uh, going for his redemption, I think. So, uh, still yet to, I think, win uh, yes. Grand Prix. We really want to, though. Like, <laughs> look at how the damn seven. Yeah, good to buff. Yep, Maya doing a lap onto the beginning of sector two, basically. Going onto a nice downhill, a very, very nice move by Alonso this weekend uh, on Hamilton here. So, a very, very tough corner. Uh, but uh, he made it work. So, props to him. A bit of a voice back there as well. New teams as well. I mean, it's also very interesting to see what what previous drivers in Tier 2, the, the teams that they decided to uh, go on to. For example, Maya uh, and her teammates are now uh, in the Red Bull. Um, they changed the room from yeah, the Austin. Yeah, from the Austin. So, I don't know. Typically, Red Bull has a bit of a small curse behind it in this game, at least, but it's <laughs> definitely not in real life. And Maya puts it in P2, about, I mean, just under a tenth of Nathan. So, very close times already. Marley, the only person looking to put in a time. JJ had spun, but he's in the pit, so... I wonder what Marley can put in, doing uh, fairly well up to now. I don't know if there are any other people on track. There's a Maya's losing a lot of time next to Nate in the middle sector. She, she has fought that third sector like Tachala here. We had over on second sector and Maya took the three tenths for Nate. Some yellow flags, but uh, everything should be fine. But Marley's ERS is gonna run out, so. He is definitely going to lose time onto the straight. A bit buggy as well from what I can see, but... Crosses the line and puts in a relatively slow lap at 1.32, but... Hey, we're all here to learn, so... He'll get there eventually. At one point, start tier 2, call if any driver lived higher for Zip, they are in lower league race, the O, you prove I enough 800 for tier 2. I don't know how to get out of the way, but I don't know how to get out of the way. I mean, I'm going to drive this guy in tier 1, that's me, and I'm going to drive this guy in tier 2, but I'm going to tell you that I'm in tier 1. I'm going to drive this guy in tier 1. Oh, there's a... I think that's Giuseppe. Lost the car, but managed to save it, somehow. On to the new regulations, until everyone is doing their outlaps. I know this is in tier 1, but I think it's very good to mention. Full qualifying. Maybe walk us through mm. that, Runza. I'm Maybe very excited. Nectar, I call have Nectar for the Nectar drama. Nectar entertaining, huh? Qualifying is so. Bill full qualifying. 100%. I'm expecting. So, uh, I'm expecting uh, uh, a lot of. Um, maybe. Upsets. Um, during qualifying, maybe some issues, or maybe, you know, you have limited time to do certain laps, limited tires, which will come in. The key, uh, uh, tire management, I call a big one. Uh, yeah. 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 Imma jekk kollok jisam mid-back position, bil-verita, you can race a bit down jekk, għala voja għafja min taħtu l-logit tajers. Imma jekk għajkun interessanti għafna l-dar baħx, għanka għatrek għatkun iktar less busy u, specialment fil-laħar biċa tal-qualifying, fejja għalkun maħaj kollok għax għal għalotzi għantrek. Simili tissa. Yep, exactly. We wanted to maybe do a nice track overview. Ooh. Nathan sets a faster time into the 128, is. about five there tenths. It is. About five tenths faster. So uh, Oliver is also improving on his lap, from what I can see. So um, 
hopefully it'll be a nice challenge um, for Nathan but nice Nathan is is doing very well let's see um, if we can do maybe a a track overview in this case with JJ no it's gonna be a a slow lap basically but we go into turn one which is a very very uh, fast breaking corner into turn two going into the first DRS zone of the Bahrain um, track uh, lots of overtaking can be done here very uh, late breaking into turn uh, three going into turn four which is also called the S's of Bahrain uh, you need to be careful here because if you touch the uh, curb kind very of like lap. JJ did. Um, it'll you'll risk bottoming out the car basically. Uh, going into the hairpin, then, like I mentioned, one of the toughest corners of this uh, track. Going into turn six and seven into the second DRS zone, which is where we think most overtaking uh, positions will happen, and then into the final DRS zone as well. Going into turn seven, uh, up the uh, hill flat out all the way through turn 8 into turn 9 uh, which you have to hit the, the braking zone quite early here to get a nice exit and then going into the penultimate corner up of this track into turn 10 also need to brake early to get a good exit going into the final DRS zone which in this case JJ will go in the pits but uh, we catch the drift. <laughs> yeah, like you mentioned, Oliver did a, a very good lap. A 129.1. And it seems like he's on another one, but no, he's 2.5 Ooh, I'm Giuseppe on the flyer. It's his first soft lap, so... Let's that's see. Another. Giuseppe, this time, in the Alfa Romeo. Um, a car that uh, David, I know, wanted. <laughs> so... We'll see what he can do with this car. I believe that's all they put in the livery, right? A purple sector two. Ma only for ten players, so. Oh, okay. cool. Five minutes left into this Grand Prix. Oh, into this qualifying, my bad. Is that there still pushing? I don't know why he's on mediums, but it's funny, it soft, says, soft, yeah, soft. it really? says it's on mediums, ah. but the car says he's on soft, so... P2 for Giuseppe, about... Um... Oof. Five thousandths of a second, not five thousandths, in this case... Hundreds, hundreds. Fifty milliseconds away, yeah. Five hundreds, yeah. <laughs> about five hundreds away from his teammate, so... Uh, Alfa Romeo doing very well right now. Liam... I think is also sandbagging because he's on those old softs. Because um, I'm sure he can be faster than what he's currently doing. So it'll be interesting. He's already about two tenths up going into sector two. Very, very nice corner there. Yellow flags. That's just because of a slow mo moving car. Ooh, that's a nice exit from Liam. Mm -hmm. Very good. Should be starting sector 3 soon. We'll see the progress that he's making on this lap. About 7 tenths faster. Let's see if he can even go faster than that and maybe challenge uh, for the top grid slots. Going into the final corner. A very nice exit indeed. Six tenths up. And it goes about a second faster and slots in right behind his teammate. So right now it's an Alfa Romeo 1-2 and an Austin Martin. Uh, three, four. And he has purpose accessory. Uh, practically, yeah. if 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 Leiden was here and slotted it into sixth place, 
this would have been the nicest OCD grid <laughs> uh, starting <laughs> position that, that I've True. seen in a while. So. <laughs> but Teammates are here, Colla paired in quite nicely. Some drivers already out on track. Um, the McLarens, uh, one of the Ferraris as well. Both of them doing hot laps indeed. So. The race, I believe, is a 28 uh, lap race as well, so quite 29, long. 29, yeah. 29. 29, yeah. Quite long, um, so it should bring us a lot of exciting uh, overtakes and moves and, and battles. Uh, hopefully not a lot of DNFs, because uh, there's only there's only so many cars <laughs> uh, right now, but some slow... Some slow driver, drivers in turn one. Right here. Um, Calvin, I believe, goes into the pits. His teammate coming around the last corner. Let's see what time he can do. Maybe improve upon his time. Crosses the line. And does improve about two tenths. Uh, but practically stays where he is. Calvin hasn't put in a challenging time. So he'll also... Uh, stay where he is. Smokey, I believe, uh, should be starting his lap soon. Haven't seen a lot from from Smokey up till now, so uh, we'll give him a bit of airtime. Nathan, as well, um, about to start his lap, so they're starting practically together. Not a lot of space between them, but... Uh, that gearbox won't be happy. Let's see what Nathan can do. A bit wide on turn one, but shouldn't really be a problem. Cuts the corner, as you should. Opens his rear wing for the RS. Goes into the, I believe, fourth or third corner of Sector 1. And Sector 1 is already a tent up, so he's doing great to manage his time. Let's see Sector 2, also a bit wide on that corner, but again, yeah, as long as you get a better exit, you can still improve. Ooh, that's a nice corner right there. Great exit as well. I think he has got this in the bag. A lot of people doing hot laps right now, Maya, uh, Oliver and Giuseppe included, so... This is basically the final lap of everyone. Qualifying is done. And we will go down the ladder. Two tenths up. Hopefully he can keep it up. We're looking at a nice 128.7 uh, as our pole time. So we'll see if he can keep it for the last corner. That's a nice exit from uh, Nathan. And provisional pole for now will be at a 128.782. Ooh. A very nice lap indeed. Smokey crosses the line next and he puts it in P8. Giuseppe, his teammate, crosses the line Oof. and puts it up to provisional pole for now. The only people that can really take it from him is Oliver and I do not believe he took it. No, He no, puts it no, in no. third place. Yeah, Ooh, that, that was a nice battle between uh, Giuseppe and Nathan. Um, so it's Alpha Aston, yeah. Red Bull Aston. So it's an Alfa Romeo front lock. Um, Maya puts in her car in between the Austin Martins. And then it's McLaren and Ferrari occupying the final grid slots. So uh, we will see you in the race. Ciao, ciao.
we are back hopefully i did see liam um maybe lose but uh we start with our formation lap so um this is currently a a bit of a a test for now simply because we do not exactly know if the formation lap is fixed or not from Codemasters. Um, some sources say it's fizz, fixed, our testing shows that it's fixed, but then there are also sources saying that it's not fixed. So um, we will hopefully see how that goes. So, um, like we said, Giuseppe up in pole position, Nathan starting with the hard tires a bit. Um, different strategies from both uh, teammates there um, Oliver in P3 starting with the mediums as well Maya taking a different approach going with the soft tires um, Oliver's teammate Liam also uh, with mediums as is the rest of the grid um, up until P9 so this will definitely be interesting keep it keep in mind uh, if you miss your grid, grid slot while going or while finishing the formation lap you'll definitely uh, have cold tires this time around so um, we'll see how that goes if, if you make it in the green and purple uh, hopefully they will stay hot so <laughs> um, at least that's how it's meant to be um, but yeah another thing I wanted to mention is engineers a bit late to mention this now since we had a full qualifying but most at least teams right now have their own designated engineer whether it's from tier 1 or tier 2 or just uh, their friends um, they have someone else in the call probably looking at their screen and giving them all necessary info think of it kind of like uh, your real life mark in this case so it'll be exciting to see what sort of info gets given uh, if there's also any mistakes uh, given uh, to each driver and, and, and all of these different scenarios. So, Giuseppe going into his first grid slot. We should know um, who misses uh, their slot. Tires should be uh, pretty hot right now. So, everyone going in slowly. As we can see, Nathan goes a bit at an angle, looking to maybe take P1 from his teammate. Smokey, the only one to uh, be disqualified from the formation lap so he should have cold tires and it's lights out pretty small getaway from Giuseppe from what I can see Oliver already looking to get into P2 not the best camera angle I can see but goes down the inside no collisions up to now and Oliver is up to P2 loses that position Maya still in P4 Liam drops down to P7 everyone else pretty much the same place Giuseppe doing well to hold that P1 position is using a bit of that ERS and Balquaza was also looking to push so that those medium tires definitely came in handy for him I would like to see a bit more uh, pace she needs to put in more pace right now because of those soft tires they're not the best um, in terms of longevity uh, on Bahrain especially in this corner right now the McLarens doing very well to stay on top of Maya with those mediums so it'll be very exciting to see what happens in this race Liam also dropping in pace I'm not sure exactly why that's Giuseppe he loses the car probably still uh, cold tires and Oliver is up to P1 that is not nice to see like like I said that corner is very tricky if you clip uh, the curb that car is gone so right now as we stand it's Oliver in P1 Giuseppe didn't even make a full lap in that position Nathan still right behind him Maya looking to go and put make a move on Nathan right now they're they're really fighting Nathan not using our ERS so uh, his wings are definitely lower but Maya does get that inside line and stays ahead for now so that's a nice move from her up to now everything seems to be going okay 
uh, Balquaza trying to use that clean air to get away. Uh, and Maya really needs to stay uh, with him at the moment. So I don't know if Giuseppe's car has damage, but I do believe it spun out and maybe hit the rear wing. Uh, so it shouldn't be that bad unless he has permanent damage. Then um, he's pretty much going to suffer that all race. Maya and Oliver now about five tenths uh, between them. Nathan doing extremely well to hold on to that um, time on the hard tires. So that's very nice to see. He has very, very, a very good setup right now. So straight line goes a bit wide as we can see there. But uh, hopefully that shouldn't be track limits or, or it should be. But uh, this game. So... Maya really gaining on Oliver. Those soft tires, um, a very, very big advantage. Both of them missed the apex. And Nathan losing a bit of time. We'll see she's using that ERS. Does get the fastest lap for now. And is making a move on Oliver. He doesn't fight it that much. He knows that he has, uh, technically speaking, worse tires. And it's better to make them last longer. Giuseppe takes that. Uh, fastest lap and Oliver is going to fight this back on medium tires goes on the outside They're fighting. It's like Perez and and Hamilton here and Oliver They're still side by side Very very nice racing between them and Maya is now up to P1 uh, Nathan obviously gaining from all these battles stays in P3 JJ and Calvin and McLaren doing very well as well to hold on to their positions Liam trying to go up places maybe makes a move on the Ferrari here gets a nice exit better than him almost losing the car as is Smokey but I think he's gonna get this move done on the inside we'll see he does get it done that uh, rear wing and front wing does touch a little um, but everything seems to be fine up to now Three laps in and I'm already tired. <laughs> so this should be a um, a phenomenal race. We'll see. Nathan. Uh, still five tenths. He's not losing a lot of time, which is nice to see. So he might have the ultimate advantage here. Those softs, a um, couple laps more, will start to degrade. So uh, Maya is about... Uh, just under a second ahead and Giuseppe slowly but surely uh, increasing his pace so he looks to be in great form at the moment as Marley I believe nope Smokey that is loses it in turn one recovers and is still ahead of his teammate for now hopefully we're gonna see uh, some McLaren on Austin Martin battles here I wish I can say that in real life but um, Unfortunately, no. Nathan gaining time here, looking to maybe attack on Oliver. Uh, four tenths, hovering four or five tenths. Oliver gets a better exit. Um, but that slipstream is really helping. Is that Giuseppe again? Moves out of the way for the Ferrari of Smokey, but... Uh, unfortunately, Giuseppe is pushing a little bit too hard. He's going over the limit. Um, but he needs to stay within that limit. So um, uh, It hasn't been the greatest of, of openings for him. JJ gaining as well on his teammate. So we'll see. Balquaza about 1.7 seconds uh, away from Maya. So... She's really utilizing those softs. Nathan now going to attack on Oliver. Goes, should have went down the inside, but gets a better exit. Oliver doing very well to defend by, uh, well, de defend his position. But now DRS is open. ERS is open. That's a beautiful uh, camera view. Very late on the brakes, but does make it work. Oliver tries to go down the inside, but unfortunately... Uh, loses that position so that gained a lot of time 
for Maya. She's already about 2.5 seconds clear of the rest. She keeps up with the space. It's basically a McLaren. Uh, it's basically a Max Verstappen. Oliver there. I don't know if he did get damaged, but did outbreak himself. I did. I did maybe see him tap the rear wing of of that Alfa Romeo, and now he's going to attack again. He should really, really calm down. Be best to get maybe uh, a better exit and, and, you know, try not to push it. Because, unfortunately, if he does have damage, that's not really going to uh, last all these attacks. So, Maya still gaining time. JJ and Calvin uh, right up against each other. I don't know if maybe there are uh, any team orders. Um, or if they're genuinely going to fight for it, but uh, I don't think in the start or the opening race there should be. Can Oliver, uh, can Liam maybe get two McLarens in one corner? He gets one, that's for sure. They're still fighting it. JJ ahead of Liam. Liam should come back for him, but JJ does also have DRS on his teammate, so... Uh, that'll kind of slingshot him uh, past Liam still. Wow. A lot of great moves already and it's only been six laps. Maya now needs to start uh, may maybe making those uh, softs last because I think, I think their strategy might be softs to hards. Maybe. I mean, I know she's counting for a safety car, but... Um... Oh, Sector 1, that's, I think, Marley losing the car. A nice helicopter view, but uh, he's already about 30 seconds away from the pack, so uh, that's unfortunate to see. Not his best day in the office. Uh, Liam still trying to gain on the McLaren. Relatively equal pace. Um, he's not really gaining, he's not really losing. I don't know if he is sandbagging it uh, but I also expected a bit more pace from that Austin Martin uh, car he is gaining now obviously with that DRS uh, JJ looking to go round the outside he is ahead currently and Liam I don't know if he did kind of dive bomb but right now fighting with Calvin basically the McLaren drivers did split a bit uh, wobbly from Calvin there did kind of uh, not leave space for Liam uh, but they are still ahead uh, I think Liam is getting quite desperate to make that move and get next to his teammate in uh, in fourth place so uh, lots of props to those McLaren drivers is that Nathan no goes wide I think on um, on one of the toughest corners in Bahrain and unfortunately right next to the hairpin yeah loses the car and drops to sixth place he still uh, has chance to fight but is that Marley yep is the car beached no 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 not doing well for Marley but um, that means Liam is up against uh, Nathan right now he should have a DRS train but that puts out a lot of pressure from Maya 3.5 seconds clear of Oliver more yellow flags uh, from the Ferrari Maya really trying to save those tires probably a nice view coming on to turn one here Giuseppe still putting in fastest lap after fastest lap, so um, he's definitely not out of this fight. All he needs is maybe a safety car, um, which is hopefully not caused by a DNF, because um, we don't need that with nine drivers. So lots and lots of action already. So this is proving to be a much a closer tier two fight than. I think anyone expected up to now so um, Maya is definitely in for the the win right now her teammate Leiden will definitely be happy if that happens but 
uh, we can never count Oliver, Liam, Nathan, or in this case Giuseppe as well out of this Grand Prix. So everyone is still fighting to gain positions and as we all know anything can happen in Formula 1. So um, we'll wait and see. What's good is that Liam is saving up that ERS uh, hoping to... Uh, use it maybe in the in the final stages or when whenever he, he attacks that being said smokey as well is ahead of Giuseppe which is um, a nice battle between them Giuseppe uh, using all of the uh, that ERS so he's really hoping um, something would happen almost loses the car there but this is a problem ERS management is very very important so he needs to do whatever it takes to uh, save that. Goes down the inside for Smokey. Smokey does uh, do a bit of late braking. They're basically wheel to wheel. Smokey goes still down, down the inside. Cuts the track. But currently he is ahead. Wow, that's a nice, nice move from the pair. Now Nathan, Liam, Calvin, JJ. All within a second of each other. That McLaren goes a bit wide. Is that Giuseppe again fighting with Smokey? I don't know if there was contact, but um, just before the S's, Calvin gets our first penalty of this Grand Prix. Three seconds for him for going and exceeding track limits uh, multiple times. So I think there's being a move. Calvin and Nathan fighting. Uh, Nathan does end up losing. Uh, from that particular battle I did see maybe a wing touch I don't think there was any damage induced from that but uh, maybe Calvin being a bit too optimistic or a bit too defensive on that occasion JJ doing well to uh, stay in his position Maya does pit those soft tires are gone let's see what she's going on to she's going on to the hard tires I believe and she's going to try and make them last. She's very confident that there there won't be any safety cars. We'll see. We'll see. I've seen a couple cars uh, spin. So uh, it'll be interesting to how, how this plays out. Nathan is also on the hard tire. So he, he will have an advantage at the end of, of this Grand Prix. Probably going on the soft tires if there is no safety. So uh, she'll need to defend hard by that point. So... Currently, he's ahead of Maya. So, so right now, it's Oliver still needing to pit. JJ, um, Liam, all occupying the podium places. Calvin with a penalty. He needs to uh, really, really push if he's going to keep that position. Uh, Nathan as well with hard tires, looking to go long. Smokey in P6. Maya, who's the only person who pit. Uh, in the Red Bull in P7. Giuseppe not his best day either in P8 and Marley um, unfortunately well well off the pace from the rest of the grid so um, yeah almost going to be lapped uh, especially if he spins that car one more time he is praying for a safety car at the moment but we'll see right now the closest battle is between Liam and JJ, it'll be uh, P1, P2 for Austin Martin. Um, like I said, they are the favorites for this Grand Prix. If I had to bet money, it would probably be there. Um, they have also Debs as their engineer. Um, Debs being... Uh, the MFRL world champion for tier 1 so I'd like to think he knows what he's doing so that's uh, an advantage in in, in, in himself so <laughs> um, they're doing well to maintain but that being said they still have to pit so uh, technically Maya is still ahead we'll see um, how she can hold I should be on Liam but it's showing me the Red Bull as well so that's that's funny yeah. Okay. Liam now now trying to push, putting some pressure on uh, JJ. 
who's in the McLaren right ahead, three tenths away. He can basically smell that gearbox burning. A lot more ERS. JJ's is practically used up. Calvin, uh, the only one that can really gain as well. Um, has more ERS than Nathan, who's also looking to attack. Calvin does go in the pits, looking to change those tires. So he might get an undercut on the rest of the medium runners. We'll see. JJ loses that position to Liam. So now it's an Austin Martin front row. Smokey uh, getting past the McLaren of Calvin. I think Maya and Giuseppe also will get past the McLaren. So Calvin does drop down to P8 on, on cold tires. Maya really needs to push uh, because Giuseppe on well a lot worse tires right now is gaining on her. So, we'll see JJ also doing uh, his utmost to keep up with Liam, so. We'll see, goes very wide, almost hits. Um, the Austin Martin driver picks up a bit of dirt, but comes back on the track. I'd like to think safely with not a lot of time lost, so. Um, interesting, They're, everyone's really pushing, trying to 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 gain a position and not lose a lot of time but um, they're also going over the limit Giuseppe now with the RS looking to go down the inside on Maya she doesn't defend hard he breaks very late still makes it on the corner and I think she's not really attacking that ERS is finished for Giuseppe so very very close to the curb there Maya so I think she's going to look to attack again maybe not really damage those tires um, onto the start finish line so I do think Nathan exactly did get the position on JJ he did go in the pits so uh, he's going for the hard tires Maya now crossing the pit lane I think uh, they will get past uh, the McLaren so she does not have enough uh, straight line speed to challenge Giuseppe and meanwhile obviously she's constantly losing time to Oliver so he needs to continue pushing um, if he was to maybe overcut Maya in this case I'm not sure what the, the medium runners strategy is um, probably hoping for a safety car but we'll see uh, what their plan is Liam about two seconds away from his teammate he did well to uh, stay in his place not really challenge a lot of cars but uh, he finds himself in p2 Nathan really pushing those uh, hard tires as well the Alfa Romeos have a very good setup especially for straight line they're gaining quite a lot so does Liam they're practically equal here in wings so very interesting Maya losing losing time on Giuseppe Balquaza does pit first from uh, the Austin Martin drivers Liam decides to go long so um, Nathan being 1.4 seconds away from Liam we'll see if they can challenge each other let's see if Oliver can take the position off of Maya Maya really going strong here there they were the two that were that were fighting he does uh, come out of the pits but Maya is still ahead loses a lot of time though because she was basically about two to three seconds away from uh, the second place so I mean Oliver will have cold tires so that gap will still increase um, but if Liam pushes as Giuseppe does go a bit wide if Liam continues to push so does Nathan um, they will probably uh, do the overcut on Maya. So this is going to turn out to be very close indeed. Nathan now also getting very close. Oh, John Marley is DNF now. That's a safety car. That is not what Maya wanted. Hard tires. That's unfortunate. Hard tires. Safety car. Liam hasn't pit. So all the front... Uh, runners will be pitting uh, 
15 laps remaining so I mean they can't go mediums and they probably can't go softs so <laughs> we'll see what this is going to be everyone's going to reset their ERS of course Maya's um, Delta has to be abided by so I think she's gonna lose this position <laughs> That's really not what she was wanting. Liam and Nathan already out of the pits. Is she pitting? She's staying out. She falls back to P3. She really didn't want that safety. All the people that pit obviously also won't pit again. But at this point, oh, Nathan. Nathan's strategy was golden. Nathan's strategy was golden. Maybe he will, he will be, um, he will be the 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 favorite to win this race. His first ever race with MFRL. Uh, his first ever win. Sorry. So. At least the pack will be coming closer together now. Smokey about 10 seconds away. Giuseppe as well. Nathan will have mega pace now. He already had very good straight line speed. He kept the car cool in the corners. He did make some small mistakes. And maybe got a little bit too close when attacking. But... Liam has really got to push on those hard tires now so um, yeah he definitely chose the best strategy here started on hards <laughs> kept it cool and collected stayed with the pack and he benefited uh, when it was time Maya I don't know that I mean it's five laps already on those hard tires so it's gonna be tough for her to maybe hold Oliver and the McLarens behind her so she had pace but yeah uh, not her day I guess safety car remains out even though the pack is all together and I think we will go racing um, in lap 17 Keep in mind DRS takes about Not about two laps to open so um, By the end of lap 19 we will have DRS And hopefully see some more uh, moves and would have 10 laps remaining still plenty of time to cause more safety cars um, Yeah, it's been a very interesting race up to now. Um, but yeah, talking back with the engineers, I wonder what um, what type of info they are getting. Obviously, engineers, they cannot be in the lobby, but uh, they can be on Discord with their teammates and uh, look at the screens, get relevant info. Um, watch other people's streams if they do stream um, and get info from there so there's a lot of methods a lot of mind games that com can come into place I'm sure tier 1 is going to take it a bit more serious especially uh, the people at the top um, obviously the competition is always increasing tier 1 has the full 20 drivers the full grid um, so a lot closer racing, a lot more possibility uh, for issues to happen. So yeah, safety car will be in this lap. Liam, uh, known to have very good race restarts. So we'll see if this will remain one of them. It doesn't look that nice in terms of weather as well quite foggy uh, but it may just be the lights so Nathan 
with medium tires, Liam with hard tires, Maya and the rest of the grid all hard tires, Liam does get away, Nathan does not sleep, he's ready to attack, Maya straight behind them, they're basically all within the same distance, 5 tenths between each other, Giuseppe already down the outside I believe of Smokey, so he does get him, Kelvin looking to make a move on his teammate, right now the pack stays as it is, Nathan a very nice exit from him, looking to attack Liam Liam covering the inside he does not want him to go down there keep in mind mediums versus hards those are that's a very very big difference Maya I think all she cares about at this point is not losing that position to Oliver which has uh, a few more lap advantage on her so a very equal pace between these two drivers um, we'll see who comes out on top Nathan once again had ha has had a lot of troubles in the past getting that win um, going as far as even losing uh, the win on the final corner of the French Grand Prix I'm sure he doesn't want to hear that but um, I guess it will be written in the history books he's really gaining on Liam Liam trying his best to keep him but as you can see there he can go basically flat out on the uphill and Liam can't that's the difference between mediums and hards Liam does seem to have um, maybe a, a, a few lower wings uh, than, than Nathan so he'll get a better straight line speed but Nathan pushing that car as you can see really gaining Liam covering off they're basically side by side now that ERS really being used Nathan late breaks and is ahead of Liam Liam, don't forget, still has plenty of ERS remaining. Oliver lost a bit of time on Maya. No DRS for him. And JJ really gaining. I think he did lose the car a bit uh, and lost a bit of time. Calvin straight behind him. So everyone's really close. Giuseppe as well. As, as we know, he has very good pace here. He just needs to not go over that limit. I wonder if we're going to see some dive bombs coming in. Giuseppe really pushing that McLaren, uh, McLaren almost taking two, two, two drivers does hit the, the McLaren and pushes both of them wide that was a bit dirty and loses a position to Smokey gains it back to Calvin I think Calvin did get an illegal move late breaks and right now is ahead of Smokey Smokey does get pushed wide and unfortunately gets a penalty and Giuseppe now back to pushing that McLaren ahead and really pushing Smokey again unfortunately spins and yeah lots and lots of um, action all on top of each other really hard to keep on top of Nathan puts in the current fastest lap as we know those mediums Big, big advantage. Liam, though, doing very well to keep up with Nathan. Maya, not that far away. 1.5 seconds as much as Oliver is away from her. So, Giuseppe now 3, 2, 1, tenth away. Late breaks. He has much better traction going into that corner. JJ doesn't give up and still stays ahead. Oh, this is phenomenal racing between them. Smokey, I believe, did have damage. Maybe going to change that wing. Doesn't really show me, but... Nope, just changing tires. Giuseppe, still fighting with JJ. The only two cars having a, a, a proper battle at the moment. A very, very similar pace. I, I believe J Giuseppe does have a bit more in him. But he's maybe a bit scared. He's using a lot of the ARS. That's probably one of his biggest issues but JJ proper defending from him hello 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 is that Luke yes I'm, I've joined for the last 10 laps I think okay okay cool 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 what's up um all right all right all good a bit nice. late but better late than never <laughs> yeah, exactly yes there was there was Runza but that, he unfortunately had to go I don't know if you're seeing 
uh, the stream, but a lot of action going on right now. Giuseppe over the outside on JJ. Takes that position from him, but keep in mind, no ERS for Giuseppe, as I was saying. One of his biggest issues, JJ has a much better exit, looking to take that position back. He knows that light is flashing, goes down the inside, pushes Giuseppe as wide as he possibly can. Giuseppe also not giving up, round the outside, stays ahead. Wow. <laughs> Amazing by both of them. Yeah. Oh wow. But, uh, JJ still has the advantage, uh, Giuseppe is low on his battery. He can still make another move. In it was... This turn with the DRS. It was a very, very interesting uh, strategy for, for a lot of cars. In fact, Maya had a very, uh, a very good start. She basically was first throughout it all, and then uh, she had the perfect strategy. If there wasn't going to be a safety car, but there was. So uh, Nathan gambled against it, and he's currently 1.5 seconds clear um, of Liam, which, as we all know, has has some pace in him. So. Towards the end, Nathan might suffer a bit because of the difference in tires, and uh, Liam might uh, pick that up yep. later on. So we'll see how that goes. In True, the meantime, JJ right? is still closing in on Giuseppe. Yep, there were about 15 uh, laps remaining on those mediums, which I believe uh, they should last long, but as you say, degradation can be high at that point. So, JJ basically also using up all his ERS, and Giuseppe, as we know, also has. Um, low wings, so he's really gaining on those straights. And uh, JJ now used up all his battery as well to stay to stay even within the DRS zone. Yep. So it's gonna be a tough ask for him, I think, to make the overtake later on. Yep, Giuseppe also put in pole position. I don't know if you've seen that, but um, didn't even hold that position for a lap because he did spin out, uh, maybe trying to push a bit too much, but. Um, he's he's on his own? Yep, or? yep. Ah, unfortunate. On the hill, so... Uh, wasn't his best uh, starting lap. Yeah, the, the elevation here is a bit tricky to uh, get a hold of properly. And if you're not careful, you are at risk of spinning out, unfortunately. Yep, in fact, Sector 2 going into Sector 3. That's where Nathan's really gaining on the, on the rest. Maya now losing a lot of uh, time to the cars up ahead. She might hold the podium, but I don't think there's going to be any more um, in it. So, Oliver, P4. Uh, uh, good, good showing from both of them. Um, Nathan Nahas, he seems to be sort of losing and gaining two tenths uh, throughout the lap. But at least he's out of the, the other zone of uh, Liam. He also doesn't have ERS, so is if his tires starts um, getting too too much wear, um, he won't have a lot to defend um, I against. What they need to do here is uh, try and save up as much as the battery as he can. Yep. There is a, a good enough gap that he can afford to lose a couple of tens here and there, and at least he would be able to charge up his battery for the for the final uh, stint of the race. Yep. Another possibility. Hope for a safety car. We'll see how <laughs> how that will unfold. But in the meantime, Giuseppe went got out of uh, JJ's DRS and is in the DRS detection point for uh, Oliver. Oliver, yep, yep. Five tenths clear um, of each other. Oliver not defending hard yet, trying to get a better exit to maybe recover that time. But um, it's also very impressive how how much Giuseppe is pushing that Alfa Romeo without ERS he's really gaining on Oliver that setup for Alfa Romeo is beautiful uh, how much how much battery does uh, Oliver have left in him let's see about 30% so he has enough to defend uh, maybe for one or two laps so all right and uh, Giuseppe has a straight line speed setup right yep Big, big advantage. That's oh, look at that gap closing. Yeah, what what we've seen. Oh, Oliver closes the gap. Uh, trying to get the same exit, but he does go wide. Giuseppe, a much, much cleaner apex right there. Looking to make the move now with DRS on. 
ER is being used. He's going around the outside. Oliver does close it and they hit. They touch. Giuseppe is out. No, that was... Uh, I don't... I, I, uh, I need to see that replay again. But Oliver was was a bit too defensive there. He did not leave any space. To be um, fair, he was the car ahead. So he had the right to choose his line as he wished, but I think he left I, I think he closed. Plate. I think he closed. I think he closed too much. I have to see that again as well. Yeah. But Ooh, uh, that all that progress gone for Giuseppe. It must be heartbreaking for him. Hopefully yeah. he doesn't uh, have damage. Hope because I think he still uh, doesn't lose, doesn't have damage and doesn't lose hope because I think he can still make something of this race and. Gain some positions. Oh, was Smokey there? As a moment. Yep. Um. Oh. No, no real battles. Um. Yet everyone has a pretty clean, clean gap to each other. But that's, uh, that's heartbreaking for, for Giuseppe. Seven or six laps now remaining, for him, to maybe make a move on JJ. And maybe, maybe, maybe gain five seconds to gain a move on Oliver, but I think I it's just, a tough one. Yeah, it is. It is. It's possible. One second per lap. <laughs> exactly. Not exactly impossible. Uh, it looks uh, tough from here for him. Nathan really cruising at home. He's not really pushing. He's using some of the TRS. And Liam, from what I can see. Um, is saving up all of that ERS. Touches the curb a bit, bottoms out, but catches the car. So that's definitely not going to be nice for him. He loses about two, three tenths uh, from that small mistake. Maya, uh, still three seconds clear um, of Liam and still four seconds clear of Oliver. So yeah, At this point, I think Giuseppe has the best chance of making an overtake. But other than that, everyone's pretty spread out and uh, the gaps have seemed to remain the same over these last couple of laps. Ooh, Giuseppe gets a, uh, a time penalty right there, does go uh, a bit over the track limits. Um, he kept the car just full throttle right there, so wow, the fact that he, he has enough downforce to do that on old, or not old cards, but you know, relatively used. It's quite impressive. They really did a lot of testing. That three second penalty is going to hurt him a lot though. They doesn't have just have to overtake JJ has to open a gap of three seconds at least. Yep. To keep that position. About six tenths away from JJ. As you mentioned, he needs about 3.6 seconds to hold that position. He has pretty good pace to make it happen. Both of them, no ERS. Giuseppe with DRS goes very wide. JJ. And himself has had some pretty good battles um, in this Grand Prix, so I'm sure JJ will defend uh, for his life. But if he doesn't, he just needs to stay within those three seconds, so that's entirely up to him. Uh, both of them, like you, like you mentioned, low on their battery, very low. Um, I would give the advantage to Giuseppe, though, as he, he will have the DRS and has... Um, a better setup for those straight lines, yep. for those straights. From what I can see as well, his throttle response, Giuseppe has improved immensely, despite some of the mistakes we're seeing as he goes wide, wide, as he goes wide on the same corner where he got the previous penalty. Um, and that will definitely be another warning, which uh, kind of rules out. Uh, the removal of the three second penalty post race. We'll see. I did I did see Smokey did have a time penalty because he was pushed wide and he didn't leave space but And again why why that I, that's entirely up to Giuseppe. That's Ooh, and that's uh that's entirely that's a, bad move by Giuseppe. a and safety no, car is that. out. What? Safety car Oh, Nathan. I mean, they're gonna have ERS, so I think I think they should fight. Maya's gonna like that because we're she gets... still for Nathan. But yeah, but those three seconds, uh, 
Liam was three seconds Ooh. behind. And now... Calvin pitting into softs. I think most people will pit into softs. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we'll see how this is going to unfold. Uh, Nathan is in a bit of a risk. I think, in my opinion, this is very similar to Abu Dhabi 2021. We don't want to mention it again, but <laughs> Nathan, coincidentally having LH as his um, first two letters of his name, um, oh, this is a very risky situation for Nathan. Does he, he is. Does Does he, because he, if he pits, he's going to lose at least three positions, which he needs to make up. And then if Liam pits, I'm sure he has the pace to gain them. But basically, one and a half laps of racing decides to stay out. Liam also stays out. Maya would lose about three positions if she goes in. Doesn't. Oliver, yeah, I, I think it's better to stay out, honestly, at this point. We, Oliver we know going in. Car, Oliver is going oh, and in. gets a five seconds! No! That is oh, he's cool. he's regretting that. Yeah, big time, um, for sure. Yeah. He's getting passed now by JJ. Giuseppe oh. has to come in, for sure, because of the front wing. But, yeah, I think if you're at the front, you have to stay out. Yep, for sure. There's too little time to make up any positions that you lose because of the pit stop. JJ and now, 14 lap old hearts, uh, needs to defend against softs and needs to stay within 5 seconds if he does lose that position. So and It's also very likely that the safety car will come in very soon since it's towards the end of the race. Yep, Maya has also about 1.5 one and a half, well, two laps to defend against Oliver, which, as we already know, are our great rivals um, for this season. So, I'm not really worried for Nathan, not really worried for Liam, but Maya and JJ, they really need to push. Those tires are old at, the, uh, at this point, and I know Oliver is going to come out uh, screaming. With that Austin Martin safety car in this lap, two laps of racing. Calvin and um, Giuseppe are a bit far away. I don't know where Smokey is held up, but he's in last place. He got lapped, and unfortunately cannot make that time up. So Calvin and Giuseppe really need to pick up that pace. I don't think Calvin is gonna make it, and I don't think Giuseppe is gonna make it. A late start for Nathan. I don't know what's going to happen, but he goes. Liam really pushing that car. Maya as well. I mean, that Ferrari is staying out, but she basically slept on the restart. JJ looking to attack on her. Doesn't go down the inside. Liam does get a better exit, looking to get a better exit onto turn two. Nathan almost loses that car, but stays ahead. ERS boat being used. A lot of and a lot of of risky situations here. Nathan is ahead. Liam is ahead. They're still fighting. They're they're wheel to wheel, and right now Nathan is still ahead. Basically, a lap and a half to go. I don't know Oliver where he's at, but those soft tires need to be used. Goes wide and gets three seconds. Goes down the inside on Maya. Takes the position on JJ. Maya takes that position as well. Lee Lee. Where did Liam go? To Liam. Where did Liam go? Liam. I don't know. Oh my god, so much to keep up with. Liam down to P4. Oh, and someone spawned there. Someone spawned. I think JJ spawned. Bottomed what out. What he, didn't, he didn't lose. Nathan needs to hold his position for one lap. Oliver with new soft tires and five seconds to go. Eight seconds because of the three seconds of the. Did Direct he get? Oh, he did get three seconds. Yes. Oh. Oh, this is hard. He goes, makes an early move. Nathan as well. They touch. They did touch. Ooh, They're side by side now. Oh, that advantage of Oliver. Really, really pushing. But look at that straight line. Nathan with old medium still ahead as Giuseppe's teammate does get a fastest lap. Another point for him that. 
Red Bull goes way wide. Loses the position to Liam. He's up to the podium places. JJ looking to take that position from Maya as well. Using all of the TRS. Maya goes. Tries to go around the outside. JJ does hit it. He does spin. Oh my god. Giuseppe up to P5. What a roller coaster. Oh, did again! She gets way too close, goes on the track, gravel trap, almost loses the car and loses the position to Giuseppe! Wow! Oliver back up now, goes, make, makes a position just like Alonso in the same place, and now he's up to P1. He needs to get 8 seconds clear. So. Yeah, there's no way he's getting 8 seconds in half a lap. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan really pushing now using the rest of that ERS. It's a phenomenal drive Giuseppe now up again <laughs> from uh, Liam he does have a penalty so I don't think he's going to keep that position but uh, maybe drop down to p5 as well because uh, Maya doesn't have a penalty but she is looking to make a move on Liam let's see how this is going to turn out on track Oliver is looking to win this Grand Prix but will drop down a couple places he had another five seconds served Nathan wins the Bahrain Grand Prix Giuseppe goes to P3 will drop to P5 at least Liam gets a podium for Aston Martin Maya goes to P4 oh my god take a breather <laughs> Mark take a breather <laughs> <laughs> I really I really ca rate. came on to this um, with my heart and soul wow that wow, was what, what a race what a race i definitely think nathan deserves those fireworks you're seeing at the end because that was a great drive from him he did well all throughout strategy so uh, i think he deserves to be pulled in the driver interview what do you think uh yeah on the hards so maybe I can have a stronger end stint and I was lucky with the first safety car very unlucky with the second safety car but mm -hmm. my heart was racing but I'm, uh, for sure maybe. after a whole season of practically P2s all around finally your first win yeah of the MFRL season and uh, a great season opener as well so I'm sure there's a lot more wins coming your way Nathan um, we congratulate you once again you. it was a great drive great strategy as well it at least worked your way uh, you had some great battles with Liam as well with Oliver at the end as well so yeah well done uh, we'll see you, Thank you next race hopefully so yes yes <sighs> see you thanks bye 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 congrats oh my god Luke <laughs> my, vo race. my voice is going to go uh, that, no, that, that I, was... no, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Those that... last two laps were... Oof. Yeah. After, I think, a month and a half of not racing, just preparing for what is to come for Season 4, um, I think that was one of the best openers these drivers could have given us. Well done to all. There's plenty more to, to, to come. So tomorrow, as you guys know, is Tier 1. At 9 p.m. I will also be commentating. Hopefully there will be a few others. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that should be exciting as well. Um, harder competition. A lot more close racing. Hopefully more safety cars as well. Uh, you'll get to see um, more regulations in action. Such as the engineers uh, and full qualifying. So that will be nice. And yeah, thank you guys for joining. I see a lot of people in chat. So... 
Um, thank you guys for, for watching the stream and supporting. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.